paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Sunsets out that direction right there. So it'd be great if we had a little a decking tennis spot for a couple of chairs. These are the stairs. They're treacherous. I don't know how many times I've heard, whoa, you've done more steps than Richard Simmons does at the gym. Oh, and this is great. I'm Colin Hunter. I'm a contractor who is fixing up cottage country one deck, dock, and gazebo at a time. My job is to get the build done on time so people can kick back and have fun at their cut. Today we're at Dave Thompson's Cottage. It's a beautiful place that sits high up on a cliff over Lake Muskoka. We bought it for the view. The cottage has a fantastic view over the bay. The best view is from this spot, but it's just bare rock. Even if it did have a deck, there'd be no safe way to get to it. It's, it's not for everybody, right? Because there's a long way down to the water. Some people would want to be here. For us, it was not a big deal. And we knew that we could improve the access to the water. Like, that would be a drawback for some people for sure, and that may be, you know, why we were fortunate enough to be able to buy it. But we saw more potential with how we could access the water. Last winter, I built Dave a dock, and he loved it so much, he called us back. Today's project is all about one giant rock. Dave's special place to watch the sunset. Sunset's out that direction right there. So it'd be great if we had a little a decking tennis spot for a couple of chairs. Okay. Sit and have a drink in the evening, watch the sunset. It's a beautiful rock. Right. right. It's nice to have it, you know, featured and prominent and stuff. So I don't want to cover it up. Beautiful. I think that'd be a great spot. And then along here, it's okay, it's pretty easy, pretty level. But once you get to about here, right, it starts to slope down again, gets a little slippery. You can see how straight, you know, down it is. You go straight level. through the <laughs> open <laughs> railing there yeah, into know. the lake. These are the stairs. Uh, yes, just a little bit crooked. They're treacherous. Okay for the dog, but not for us. Yeah. Well, when we have big groups of people, like we're gonna have like 50 people from my department. 50 example. people are gonna yeah. be on these stairs? We've already uh, set the date, and we really wanted to have a great way for folks to go up and down. I see why you called us. You know, the stairs themselves almost look a little drunk. I could hardly imagine how you'd be if you had a drink or two on these stairs. Let's go check it out at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. If we don't fix these stairs, someone's gonna get hurt. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, not for 50 people. So when we get to this point, it's a little bit more prominent, right? So you built a nice dock for us in the winter, and if we could get this to match, right, and make it a little bit more of a feature point, okay, that'd be cool. A little more, uh, you know, nicer than what it is now. Yeah, that'd be great. So it's got to be functional. It's got to be safe. It's got to look good, and it's got to be able to support a 50-person party. Sounds good. Okay, we got it. Here's what I'm gonna do. Dave's sunset deck is the focus of this whole job. It's got to hold a pair of Muskoka chairs and provide a perfect view of the bay. Above it, we'll build a set of stairs that wind their way up to the cottage. Below the deck, we'll put a series of platforms and another set of steps leading down to the water. I got to do it all and be finished in time for Dave's big party that's only two weeks away. So we got our material now, so we're going to set up a workstation down here. We're going to start doing the stair platforms and we're also going to set up a workstation up top so we can work on the boardwalks. The sunset deck is right in the middle. We'll get to that later. The old steps were pressure treated wood. They're probably about 25 or 30 years old. We're gonna be making the new ones out of cedar so that they'll look awesome and last a long time. Now for one of the most exciting parts of the day, the demo. Handiwork. We're starting to realize that it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, what I thought Ready? was anchored is not at all. So it's time to rip this thing out and do it properly. This thing is going to rock like crazy. 
seems like every cottage we go to was done very sort of just sparingly. It was, uh, they're almost built like tree forts with whatever you have on hand. Hey guys, try not to trample all over all the foliage next to the stairs. It's gonna look like a wrecking crew came in. The first step of the build is to find something solid to anchor everything into. So we're trying to figure out how deep it is gonna be to the bedrock. Bedrock's the best thing that we could possibly tie into on a build. It's never gonna move, and if it does, then we got bigger problems. We're hoping we only need one of these, but uh, we never know. We could find some boulders and need one of these. Might not want like 100 people on this at once. There's no foundations for this. It's just posts sitting on wood that's sitting on dirt or root. So our first step is to figure out where the bedrock is, dig away, find it, and then anchor into that and create a good solid foundation base for our post. Down here on the lower part of the hill, the bedrock is buried too deep. So we gotta break out the concrete and make our own bedrock. The way we try to work on our foundations is basically like we're hanging off the edge of a cliff trying to do some forming. And uh, I don't know how many times I've heard woo today, but it's real. It's getting real up on this mountain. What are you gonna do with that rock? I don't know, Dan, what do you think? Could be landscaping. You know, city folk could pay upwards of $100 for that. Maybe we should put it back. Why? I don't know, it looked pretty good there. You know, sometimes your design ideas suck. <laughs> Up higher on the hill, we can drill straight into the rock. Then we install the metal post anchors that will lock our posts sturdily in place. The interesting part comes when we now position it onto our frame. Check all our heights and angles. Make sure we're good. We'll just put some decking on this after. We're leaving the one side extending upwards so we can put our handrail on top of it. Looks good, Dan. Come along. Dave Thompson has a gorgeous cottage with a breathtaking view. The problem is, he's got nowhere to enjoy it from, so we're building him a sunset deck on his favorite rock. It'll be connected to the water by three large platforms and literally hundreds of stairs. It's a monster of a job. The entire building site is hanging off the side of a cliff, and we only have a week and a half to finish it. We're gonna start with the top platform. That just means there's gonna be less treading on it once we bring our gear. We're bringing everything from the bottom, so as soon as we place that, we're done with it. Then we place the stairs below it, we're done with those. So it just kinda of keeps it cleaner because everyone's got mucky boots. I'm gonna drop the, these stairs so they're just sitting right on the ground. I don't want them to collapse when we're bringing it up. It's the sturdiest these stairs have been in years. Gotta go either up the hill or down the hill. It, uh, it's definitely challenging. One, two, three. But we're not expecting an easy ride. Well, if we both get it, it'll be safe. The first few days you wake up and you're, you know, a little bit achy, but it's like anything, you get used to it, right? And you just carry on. <laughs> We've got a leg on either side here. I'm just gonna tie it back so it doesn't slip down the hill. Now that our saddles are set firmly in the concrete and they've had time to set, we're gonna get our post cut. It's hard to figure out where the points are because we're sloping down the hill and we're kind of transferring reference points everywhere. So what we did is we put a string all the way from the bottom landing to the corner of the top landing. And from there at least we have a straight line because finding anything straight, you know, building wise around here is pretty tricky. Got it? Well, one down, two to go. <laughs> 
We're working within a certain set of parameters here. Sloping bedrock that's at different heights, which dictates the length of our boardwalk platforms. And also we're trying to work with the bushes that are already there and make our platform look like it's been there for 100 years and that the bushes have grown with it. So Dan's built square platforms, put them in on temporary legs. Willie's installing posts, marking them, and then drilling the post holes. Now that we're into the process and we've done more steps than Richard Simmons does at the gym, we can honestly say that this is a heck of a lot of steps. All right, Colin, that's it. You want to check this out? That's the last one. This is it. Well, it looks pretty good, man. It looks yeah. like it's big steps, but it's actually that's two steps. There's definitely some contour to the rock, so I think they go hand in hand. You know, it feels like a lot of walking and a lot of steps, but when you actually see the steps, it feels like a lot of even more walking. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna look great. But it's gonna look sick. All those steps are gonna need a lot of posts and a lot of railing, but those will come later. Right now, it's time to focus on the centerpiece of this project, the place where all the stairs are leading, Dave's dream deck for watching the sunset. You wanna lay some boards out and sure. give it a test drive? Yeah, I was, uh, check that out. Should we take a moment and live the life of Dave? I'd love to. Oh yeah. For anybody wondering what a million dollar view is, we found it. David will be high-fiving us with a rum in his hand. Okay, so what we're doing here now is we're gonna be securing their posts properly to our platforms. A lot of people waste their time and try and save time actually by putting screws in and, and that's why a lot of railings wiggle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a proper install with two carriage bolts right through the face, through both sides of our lamb here, and we're gonna tighten them up. We're gonna go super fast. We've each got our job and hopefully nobody slips up or they're off the team. Ready, son? I'm ready. <laughs> We only have five days left until Dave's big party. And we still have over 100 steps to put in and like 200 feet of handrail. This has been a tough one. The guys have been working really hard to get as far as we have. Well, I'd say that's it, but there's about 120 more bolts to go. Dave Thompson is one of my favorite customers. Last summer, I built him a dock and it looks great. This year, he wants a deck to watch the sunset from and a massive string of stairs and platforms to get him safely from the cottage to the deck and then down to the water. The only troublesome part is that he's throwing a huge party for 50 of his coworkers and he's only given me two weeks to pull it all together. If I'm going to make Dave's deadline, that means we're going to have to work late into the night. And that means setting up some auxiliary lighting. It took most of last night to cut all the stringers that will hold Dave's stairs in place. Now it's time to install them. Do you want to go down there? I'll take this end. We'll line them up on our 12-inch centers and then just put some temporary screws in. Black fly season. Not a great time to build stairs. Hey, 
Hey buddy, I got your steps. It's a nice piece of wood. A lot of people say you gotta start at the bottom to get to the top. Not us. We started at the top and worked our way down to the very bottom. <laughs> You know what, Dan? It's not how many stairs you put in, it's how nice they are. We need six, seven, and eight. Well, maybe you could be polite and ask for one. Colin, I was thinking we could give him a little piece of his old stairs back. I don't think that belongs anywhere on this job site, <laughs> or probably any job site, to be honest. I'm doing the drum roll. He's actually putting in a bowl, but this is indeed the last step. The crown jewel. We're getting close to a set of stairs that will be here for many generations to come. No more scaling the cliff, Danny. Pretty exciting. Who gets to go up first? It wouldn't be fair if it were me. That's nice. The steps are done, but we need railings and we gotta do some decking. That's a lot of work and there's only two days until the party. Dave's party is only a day away. We're feeling the pressure with all the stringers we needed to cut and all the railings we had to bolt in place. But now they're done, and the only thing left is the decking. And the decking is what we do best. There's a line there, there's a line there. That's why we try and, uh, and keep them relatively even. It's just to aesthetically please the person who's paying the bill. <laughs> Colin, how you doing? I'm good, how are you, Dave? Excellent, excellent. Yeah, we uh, got it done just in the nick of time. Right on. You wanna come check it out? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Two weeks ago, Dave's property looked like this. The pathway was nothing more than moss-covered rocks. The stairs were rotten right through, and the sunset deck was nothing more than a couple of garbage pails on a rock. Look at this. That's great, you hug the curves of the hill, everything. Yeah, it follows the bushes, follows the rock, and it looks like it's been there for a long time and the stuff had time to grow around it, right? Excellent, excellent. Didn't disturb much, obviously. Try That's not great. to. It's a lot of wood, Dave, but uh, should make the trip down a little easier. Come on, let's look closely, come right on. Right on. Wow, this is great. Wow, yeah. Pretty extensive, and you know what? You really followed the old trail that was here like I asked you to do. Yeah, uh, it uh, was no easy task, Dave, but we tried our best. Railing, it's really, look at how thick it is. Yeah, it's tough. Every post is anchored right into the bedrock. What's your angles here? There's many angles there. So, yeah, but like, none of them are unique. Like, if you had to match them all perfectly. Some people say when you're cutting corners, you're not doing a good job, but for Dave, cutting corners was how we did a great job. With the curves added to it, it must have been some pretty difficult cuts. Well, it was time consuming. There were nice. two things about this. It was a lot of material and a lot of time. Excellent. Sunset deck, what do you think? Is this what <laughs> you had great. in mind? The sun goes right there nine oh, months wow. of the year. Dave, I only brought you down two chairs because we want to save some room for some dancing tonight. It's a great halfway point to stop and get your breath on the way back up. Sure. Yeah. If you have a drink, have a drink too. Dave was really happy with the platform for his Muskoka chairs. It's a little area so that it gives you a point to look out at the beautiful view, feel the breeze and have a drink. One of the biggest issues that we had to tackle was the massive set of stairs. So why don't we show you what we did over there? Nice, yeah. The old stairs were a real hazard. They were slanted, rotting, and we discovered they weren't even properly anchored to anything. All right, so this, you know, just some easy walkway. Look at this, this is extensive. Everything now is pinned into the bedrock with concrete and the posts are anchored into the concrete. That means we have a really, really sturdy, sturdy set of stairs. You could honestly have a person, you know, four people on every step all the way up that thing and they could be doing a jumping jacks and they could be doing the Congo line. They could be sliding down the handrails and they're gonna survive. That's a good thing. 
We have some families coming up this summer who were here in the winter. Yeah. <clears throat> they were a little bit shy going on the old stairs. I don't blame them, Dick. <laughs> I totally get it. Really nice that you incorporated the uh, windows too. Give me some platforms, right, some features. It can end up looking like a bit of a prison if you have too many bars. So this way we kind of respect the lake view. Ties in nicely to the dock you built for us in the winter. So from the water now, it's all brand new wood all the way up. Yeah, and as you continue up the hill, I know it's great. It is great. It's yeah. all, all the way down. A nice promenade walk now, all the way down. Want to come check out the rest of it? Oh uh, yes, please. Sweet. This is solid. So sturdy. I'm looking forward to having my party here now. Awesome. This is great. Thank well, you. I might yeah, have I can't to thank you enough. No, oh, thank you. And it was a pleasure the whole entire thing. And uh, I might just have to stick around for one drink at your party. Absolutely. <laughs> it definitely exceeded our expectations as to how at the end of the day I took him a little more wood. But you know what? It turned out really great. And he didn't stop. He finished it off really well. Dave seemed really happy with the stairs. I think he was expecting us to rebuild something like he had existing there. I don't think that he really realized we were going to take it on as an art piece and try and make it something really beautiful to add to his cottage.